Good morning, ladies! Woo! Are you ready for finals? Yeah! Well, come on in! Woo! Holly Today we find out who the lucky girl is that got the fan vote and earns an automatic spot into training camp. Crossing my fingers that it's gonna be me. Everybody is just last minute running around, fixing their hair, putting on their costumes, pinning themselves, and we're about to go out there and perform our solo for the judges. My costume is very blingy, but you know what? The more bling, the better, right? Today, it's down to the wire. You can't just let a girl through now because you kind of like her and you want to root for her. You're looking for the girl that is literally just a step away now from being able to wear the uniform. Are you guys ready to entertain us? We are gonna kick this party off with Miss JC number one from Monroe, Louisiana. Each candidate has a 90 second solo. Solos let the judges see the unique talent of each candidate. There's such good talent out here. I'm so glad that I went to Kitty's. I feel like it was the frosting on the cake that I needed to really bring it today. A solo with beautiful technique, great showmanship, effortless dancing, that's what grabs my attention. Yeah, Madeline. I love watching the solos. I think it's the highlight of every audition season. You've got tumbling, gymnastics, you have ballet, you have contemporary. Sometimes you have tap. It's really fun to see some of the talent that these girls really have. Now she's ignited. It's just nerve-wracking right now. This is the part where I got cut last year. Today I'm planning on standing out with my solo, hopefully. There's something I really like about her. I'd say she held our attention. Okay, please welcome from Rockford, Illinois, number 68, Amy. Watch me. I'm about to kill it, so you can go ahead and add me to your team. She really was just threads away from a major wardrobe malfunction. I'm putting so much energy into my solo routine and my top starts to slide down a little and I'm like, oh gosh. Unfortunately for her, it's distracting for the judges. She's big and I think natural. We can get so distracted by the threat of exposure that we're not entertained. Some of my favorite veteran solos this year included Erica. She was sexy, she was sassy, lacy. I wrote wow. In fact, I wrote a couple things I can't say. Kinsey, it was light, it was delicate, it was simple, and it was beautiful. There's no stopping and Melissa. Right now. She was like what Emmett Smith was to our football game. It just didn't stop. She's strong. We were really disappointed in the few veterans. They should stand out, and for some of them, they didn't bring it today. Jasmine danced and stumbled much like she did her rookie year. Breland's costume isn't doing her any favors. It's making her look heavy. She doesn't look really fat, but she doesn't fatter. Oh. On one of my tricks, I was almost going to kick the girls because they were so close, so I had to shorten it. But luckily, I didn't touch down. It was just a little unsteady, like. Ashley Pro, does she realize she's on the bubble at risk? The new girls really had some incredible talent. I'm putting on my face, to cover up my eyes. I'm jumping in my ride. I'm heading out tonight. I'm knows what she's doing out there. I'm riding solo. I'm riding solo. I'm riding oh. solo. Holly, her routine was a showstopper. It's definitely more intimidating to watch the girls around me. It's a reality check that you have to step up your game as well. I'm riding solo, solo. There we go. After my first move, really, I couldn't tell you what happened. The adrenaline gets me going, and I just go. 
she looks like a mature, well-trained dancer that could put the uniform on today. Wow, she's better than I even thought. We are happy! That was awesome, ladies! You did ignite, you did delight, you did excite, and you held our attention. That was amazing. And we will see you on the field. <laughs>